Yesterday is gone. Another day has come. To something new. we need your help. We need your strength. We need your power. We need your anointing to change the earth for you. The earth is full of calamities. It's full of sin. Without your power, my Lord and my Savior, peace cannot reign. We command heaven to hear our cry. Like in the day that the children of Israel cry unto you in the wilderness. And my Lord, you answer them and rain manna for them. Hear our cry in the part of the world that there is a war going on. My Lord, we need a peace. People are killing one another. Muslims rising against believers. Father, we need a peace in the land of Nigeria. People are killing their fellow human beings to make rituals. Father, we need a peace in this planet. Stretch your mighty hand. Use able men to bring peace on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the heavenly places. Beloved in Christ and creation, for two weeks now, I've been waiting upon the Lord. And the Lord ministered to me that from now, to the 31st of December he is going to remember his children but the Lord said that he is going to remember the faithful ones those that are faithful to him so today I want to preach a sermon that I want you to take your laptops your pen and paper 
If you are watching us online, pay attention. Stop everything that you are doing. The next 30 minutes, I will be over. Because I will preach in series. Hallelujah. So 30 minutes, I will be over. But the sermon title is, Oh Lord, remember us. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and give him high five and say, Oh Lord, remember us. And shout very big, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Beloved in Christ and creation, we serve a God that remember his children. We serve a God that always remembers his children. The God that we are serving is a God that has compassion, that has love, that have mercy for his children. So when we say the Lord remember me, it simply means Lord have mercy upon me. Lord have mercy upon me. The hour has come that every situation that you are going through in life, the hardship that is going on all over the globe, this is the time that Christians we need to call on God to remember us because we are his children. Any hardship that is going on in the world, because we live in the world, we are the part of the hardship. Therefore, we should not shout our mouth for the world to sink in. We should not shout our mouth for things to deteriorate. The hour has come for you and I as a child of God to stand between the gap and call the most high God to remember it. Amen. Russia and Ukraine to Pana Russia and Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine. I have Ukraine. never rest. I always pray with a group of Christians in Ukraine. Many a Christophobia will Ukraine bomb pied and jimpa. We pray a lot. Your bomb pieper. They intercede a lot. Young Su ye dima be pray. And look at how things are going. She said yeah, no may come. Things are changing. And no more air says the world second army. Sir, we are see for every uh, day, every hour. The Ukrainians are taking over. Sir, Ukraine for a dissolve. That shows that. And then the say, when a believer take a stand, say, Ujidi needs original to the superior God. It doesn't matter the sophisticated machines that the enemy is using. God has power to shut them down. I don't know what you are going through. But my point this afternoon is that don't limit God. Always call God to remember you. In your situation, God is the only person that can change natural laws. I said, God is the only person that can change a natural loss. So if you cry unto God in your situation, you will appear before the judicial court. But the Lord will set you free. Even though you don't qualify to be set free, but because our God can change natural laws, he will change it into your favor. So don't allow situation to overcome you. Believe me. My sister, are you listening to me?
men why mama o how na man ye ne normal be of from any news afra o som yan at any point in time we do every bia know that you are a child of god we saw ye yan kupon ba and a child of god you have authority over situations se o ye yan kupon ba dia o tu mi for am man you circumstances se wo ko how na man ye bia ah e bro so a land that you are living in ya na sa sa se wo so a problem so how be a the government cannot solve ah binding to me at the time you and i I do we need to get that in the holy sanctuary of God. Call Zion. A prayer that we can pray and call the power of God to intervene. To me, say Omra, my Omejian. Hallelujah. Omra and Sabbath. My men can be bench rows. If your computer, say you share your computer, you can attract virus. No, it may catch virus. And you cannot open any windows. Now we are going to be able to be here. The same way God is a spirit. Sir, now you are going to punch your home. That the chemical weapons can attract virus. Sir, sir, chemical can never fire. Somebody hearing me? But we need to speak. As a say, a casa. As a children of God. Yeah, yeah, you are going to punch. God created this earth for us to have peace and harmony. Nyanko pon po asasi we me se be nya suwe. Peace is not from God. Adi pe nya suwe bi enfi Nyanko pon. Watch men of the world. Yeah yeah asraf for ma asafi na so we. Say no ma e ko we need to intercede for peace. Esa se ye di e ma se asuwe be ba. Some folks who said that I don't care about it. Ni pa bi bo ho be ka se me nfa ho. I care about it because I need to fuel my car. Esa se o ma wani bre wo ho. I fuel my car for some thing or now I've won my car for 140 euros. I dey out here 70 euros fan go and then I come hands. Who did you say inform me who ana? I went to the grocery shop for my family of five we shopping more than 500. How can man live? Ni pa be dey me transfer sir I go chere we. So if you are not going to pray I will pray. So we bom pa ya me dey me bom pa. We need a sovereign intervention. Ese say Yakobon buy us. Hallelujah. Things are going rough. And no man could ye cry. And Christians, we need to cry. A Christopher where say it is like the day of the children of Israel. I drew mra Israel when they were in bondage. Bra no bo won ko aso mo. When they were suffer. Bra na wo ko ye mu no. And they cry unto God. Wo suffer Yakobon. According to Exodus chapter 24 uh, chapter 2 verse 24. Say you hear Exodus 224. They cry unto God. O bo suffer Yakobon. And God send their thoughts. Yakobon suma nipa. In the book of Exodus chapter 3 when okay. Moses was taking care of the flocks in the way God sent their thought into Moses. And God said, Moses, go and deliver them. Moses, go and go and go. Church, not until we cry. God will not send us a deliverer. Why? Not until believers we take our stand. And pray and cry unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Not until we cry and call our God to every negative circumstances, our thoughts cannot send us a deliverer. God hacking onto our thoughts and He press our thoughts into somebody that can help us. So I'm commanding my fellow believers in Nigeria that the hour has come for us to pray, so that God will send our thoughts to somebody that can stop all this calamity. Hallelujah. We need to pray. Hallelujah. They cry in Exodus chapter 2 verse 24. And God hear their cry. And God sent their cry straight away to Moses because he know that Moses can deliver them. Hallelujah. So when you are in a problem and you want to reach on top of your uh, uh, destiny you need to first cry unto god and god will send your thought to anybody that need to come into your life and take you out of the problem and put you on a higher level hallelujah am i preaching sense i don't know what you're going through but don't allow what you're going through to dictate for you cry unto god and the lord is going to send you a deliverer somebody say lord remember me Lord remember me Now there are a lot of benefits as a child of God that any time you are in crisis any time you are in a problem and you call God 
when God appeared, there are so many miracles that men We never call God and the presence of God appear and our situation and circumstances be the same. If God remembers, he has mercy upon your life. He has compassion to redeem you and deliver you from all your negative circumstances. I didn't hear your amen here. The children of Israel, the reason why God delivered them is that they cried. Hallelujah. And God heard their groaning. God hear their crying. And God said, no, I will never sit down for all these things to go on against my own people. I need to deliver them. They cried. For God to remember the covenant that he made with Abraham. That he will never allow his offspring to be in slavery. They cried to the God of Isaac. That God remember your covenant that you made with Isaac. They cried to God of Jacob. Because that is where their confidence, their faith, their belief was. So they cried. Let me tell you. Anytime we are in a problem, we go to somebody that can help us. Is that not true? If I need a financial help, I can scan the church and go to a particular person that I think he can help me. That is why some of you have put your trust in your uncles and your orphans and everything. But I've come to announce to you that sometimes it is not people that you are looking up to that they can help you. Hallelujah. The only person that knows the right people to help you is God. So when you cry to God, God will connect your problem to the right person. The right person will come into your life and transform your life and change your situation. The reason why our circumstances are so there is that we feel that we can do all by ourselves. Hallelujah. Because it is the only the creator that know all things. That's what That's Stop putting your trust and confidence in men. Stop putting your trust and confidence in your mother and your father. Stop putting trust and confidence in your pastor. Put trust and confidence in the Lord. And cry unto him. Cry our father. And then the Lord will hear you. The children of Israel, they cry. They cry. They cry. And God said, Moses, I, God, Exodus 23, verse 1 to 12. When you go home, you can read. I, God, I have heard the crying of my people. Listen to me. Anytime you are praying, something is going on in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, God is preparing somebody that can come into your life and deliver you from your problem. So when you are praying and nothing is going on, don't keep worrying. Keep on praying because God is perfecting it. And at the, at the right time, God is going to bring the right person. The person that will stand by you. The person that will help you. And when that person comes into your life, the good news is that when that person helps you, you will never block us in. When that person helps you, he will never announce it. That when that person helps you, he will never intimidate you with it. He will help you until the problem is over. No matter what you do to that person, no matter the insults you give to the person, the person will never live your life because he is on a sermon from the maker. And not until that sermon is accomplished, he will never forsake you. Hallelujah. This is the people that we need in our life to come into our aid and help us. Say the Lord remember me. Now, when the Lord remember you, the first thing that God does is that He send favor and blessings. He send favor and blessings onto your life. Hallelujah. We 
without favor or call. You will never find it. Bible said in the book of Luke chapter 2 that Jesus Christ grew in the favor of God, in the favor of men. If you don't have favor in the sight of God, there is nothing that you can prosper. Bible said that Samuel grew in the favor of God and the favor of men. When the favor of God comes upon you, everywhere you go, you will be called honorable. Where there is no way, they will salute you and open the gate for you. In other words, when you are looking for a job and they say there is no vacancy because the favor of God is upon you, they will open you and welcome you to the job and offer you a job. So believers, we walk with favor. Hallelujah. What did I say? We walk with the favor of God. Hallelujah. And the favor of for the favor of the Lord to locate you, there are some things that you need to do in the kingdom of God. Are you hearing me? Now you may not know this. I said for the favor of the Lord to locate you, there are so many things that you need to the house of God. Nehemiah chapter 30. Quiet. Fast. Verse 31. Nehemiah 13. Verse 31 to 3. Any fast reader? Or you want me to read myself? Yeah, I will also make sure that the supply of the wood for the altar and the first portion of the harvest were brought at the prophet at the proper time. Remember this. Remember this in my favor, oh God. Hallelujah. This is where the kingdom of God was deteriorating. Things were not going on in the house of God. The praise that the offering and the tithe are supposed to be stored, they have given those praises to people to sleep there. And Nehemiah commanded the priest that they should put the house of God in order. He commanded them that they should purify themselves. They should do the right thing in the house of God so that the people will get a blessing. And after he had done that to promote the things of God, he prayed and talked to God that God remember me. I put your house in order. I'm not speaking to all of you. I'm speaking to those of you that help to promote this kingdom through your offering and your tithe. Those that buy the instruments, the organ, and everything in the sanctuary. That the hour has come for you to ask God to remember what you have done in the house of God and help you. The Lord told me that he is going to remember his children. But it is not everybody. It is for those that have been faithful unto him. Are you hearing me? In Psalm 20, the very verse 1 to 3, David said, Lord, remember my offering and my sacrifices and answer me from your holy sanctuary. For the favor of the Lord to locate you, the offering that you are giving to the house of God, the sacrifices that you are making in the house of God, Cleaning the house of God, singing to praise God. I mean, everything that you're doing in the house of God, you need to ask God to remember it. The day you become a born again Christian, things that you have done in a man of God's life, things that you have done in the kingdom, I don't care in the kingdom that you have helped, but the hour has come that everything that you have offered into the kingdom of God, you should pray and ask God to remember you. Hallelujah. David said, in times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. And then he moved to the verse 2. Verse 2, he said, may he send you a help from his sanctuary, strengthen you from Jerusalem. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jerusalem there is the house of God. Hallelujah. Some translations say, may he strengthen you from Zion. Hallelujah. Church, we are in the Zion now. I want you to pray and talk to your maker. That the day you become born again, you have done a lot to promote his kingdom. So God needs to deliver you from every problem 
that you are going through. Hallelujah. Our services in the Lord can speak for us. What did I say? Hallelujah. I have a testimony to tell you. A lot of people don't want to testify. But I mean, when I'm preaching, I know that I'm never going to come. Do you understand? Our services in the house of God eh, gave way. There are two instrumentalists here. If I'm telling you the miracle that the Lord has done in my life, they don't understand spiritual things. So they don't know what the Lord is doing in their life. But I understand the anger that God is coming from because of the things that they are doing in the house of God. That is why God is blessing them in that way. Hallelujah. Listen to one of them, eh? he got a job, and the visa was just two months. You find it very difficult for them to accept him in a job. And when he get a job, they renew the visa. After they renew the visa for two months, they sack him from the job. Hallelujah. And then, God works it together. And the, the sister job of that company employ him. But the question is that, supposing he was still having that two months, by that time, it was zero. How can that sister job employ him? That's what we know. God knows in whole divine way that he cannot be a permanent worker in that company. But he needs that company as a stepping stone unto his blessing. Come for Jesus. There is nobody that has offered a services from a faithful heart in the kingdom of God, that God will never remember that person. Hallelujah. Anything that God instructed you to do to help his kingdom, do it from pure heart. And God that sees things in secret, the same God is going to reward you. I said the same God is going to reward you. He will never deny you favor. He will favor you in times of trouble. He will favor you in the midst of your affliction. In this hardship time, the Lord will make you survive. He will pave a way where it seems to you there is no way. I say he will create an avenue for you that you yourself will never and ever forget in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of them. God came. His family and children will be saved. You understand? Within a silver or prata, bam! tell you for free, there are some people that they, they even, for them to receive appointment to go do something, say, well, Haram. Church, I'm preaching with you. Don't think that your labor in the kingdom of God is in vain. If some of us who are giving you our testimony, the reason why we are alive to bring the good news to you, you may know that the God that we are serving is a good God that always remember his children. He's a good God that always favor his children. He's a good God that made his countenance be upon his children. He's a good God that bless his children in every endeavor of their life. Let me tell you for free, if you are paying tithe to God, if you are giving offering to God, use it to pray. Hallelujah. And the Lord will favor you. Passafo, now the offering to Onyame Afarebu Tiam, now the year ready dia ye, who chant to Swadudu, now the year ready dia ya, Fawun to Swadudu no, only a radentin tam, was ya radia, the ton to Swadudu mao, I didn't tell me what how we move, and I me free. Hallelujah. Then I'll be talking when you're my sofa, and I'm talking to Sofa Bible, I radishan. Hallelujah. The girl that bought my Bible asked my wife, we have a master's, it's a young lady, young girl. We went to the University of Bremen, we fed her to London, we have a master's degree, and now we have been employed by Mercedes. He is coming back and work for Mercedes. Hallelujah. And I still teach with that Bible. Are you hearing me? 
everything you do in the house of God, you need to do it faithfully. And when you are faithfully done, you need to consult your maker with it. Let God know that I bought the seat for people to sit on it in the church. I don't deserve what I'm going through. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus said. Somebody say, Lord, remember me. Listen to me. When the Lord remember a person, he restore and give grace for supernatural accomplishment. So you who are kaiwa, I be a wash be a wash one day. Na osan man ehu mo bura dum dosu oso. Se adi be a obey obey insula. Whenever God remember you, your life will never be the same. Are you hearing me? God need to give you a grace. And from the day that you were born, everything that you have lost, God have capacity to go back to the year that the enemy afflicted your life and restore your destiny. I'm speaking to only few people that you think you have lost so many things. So you are giving up in life. This is not the time for you to give up. It is the time for you to cry for God to remember you. You have done a lot in the house of God. You are not seeing the benefit of it because you are not praying for God to remember you. Today, I am on you. Anything that you have done in the kingdom, from the day you become a born again Christian, hey, if you are paid dollars to the kingdom of God, if you are paid euros to the kingdom of God, Nara to the kingdom of God, CD to the kingdom of God, Yen to the kingdom of God, any currency that you have given to the kingdom of God, I want you to challenge your maker to remember you. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, remember me. Let me find grace to accomplish greatness in my life. Cry for Jesus. When the Lord remember a person, God always sustains the natural law. Any law that is against your prosperity, any law that is against your breakthrough, any law that would disfavor you, God will put them on the hold. He suspend them for his grace to provide you everything that you need. Some of you, you are not a unique people. You are not above those that they were denying Jesus. You are not above those that their sickness killed them. You are not above those that they are in poverty. But it takes the grace of God because God has remembered you. And that is why God has suspended all laws against you. And God is blessing you in this hardship time. Somebody say, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. When the Lord remember you, anything that is dark or labor against you, the Lord wipe it out. Are you hearing me? Bible said that there was a brand man called Timaeus. The man was named after his father. But he was brand, so he was tagged against his name, and people call him Brand Timios. He sits on the highway of Jericho and begging for money. And once upon a time, he heard that Jesus was passing through the highway of Jericho to go and die in Jerusalem. And the man made up his mind to cry unto Jesus for Jesus to remember him because he don't want to be brand forever. And he cried to the point that the disciples told Jesus that he's making noise. But he keep on crying, and Jesus remember him and restore his brandness. When the Lord remembers you, no weapon that will function against you shall prosper. The enemy think that they have got the best of you, but when the Lord remember you, He will restore your fortune. I want to tell you something for free. Some were taught that the sons of Jesse they are thick and giant. They're supposed to be the king. Some were don't know that God has remembered David in the shepherd boy fold that he was running animals, and David is supposed to be the what the king. Church, I want to tell you something for free. You are a king. All that you need to do is that, Lord, remember me. Hallelujah. In the name that have been tapped against your destiny, I don't care how people call you. People can call you barrenness woman. People can laugh at you because you don't have child on your own. When you cry unto God, hey, 
God will show up. Is somebody hear me? Rachel cried unto God. And the Bible said that the Lord gave him a male ball. Cry unto God. Don't accept things that have been tagged against you as it is. If you accept it as it is, so it shall be. For the Bible said that as mind thinketh in his heart, so it shall don't accept negative things. Let them tag against you. Let God prove them. Let God prove them wrong. Hallelujah. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that God cannot do. He is an impossible God. You did bear any why. Onya Hallelujah. When you talk for say, near Yehovah, I see Rano. Near Yehovah, she ran, she ran, only part to me, sir. Near Yehovah, she ran, Shira, oh, only part to me, say, Yehovah, Shira, hallelujah. Na Kwanina, Yeshira. No mortal body can destroy the blessings that the Lord has bestowed to you, Ken. I say, no mortal body. Absolute no mortal body. They can plan, but they cannot succeed. They can arrange, but it shall never happen. They can decide to kill you, but they can never kill you. Is somebody getting my point here? Hallelujah. Said that Monica and Esther they proclaim fasting and prayer, and then Esther have favor in the presence of the king. And the king that Monica have saved his life before, that the king never remember. God wipe up this lady out of the eyes of the king. The king comes to his senses, and do you know what the king? Taste what? Prayer and the fasting. That they declare and cry to God, and God hear their prayer, and the spirit of the most high God wipe out the sleeping out of the King Esses. And the King Esses remember that once upon the time, people protested to kill him. And it was this man that Hammer wanted to kill that saved my life. Hallelujah. Church about the good way. Let me preach something to you. When God wants to bless you, he uses your enemies to bless you. They can quickly call Hammer 
and said that if somebody finds favor in the sight of the king, what do you think that the king should do for that person? Oh, Hama was thinking in this man's said that he said, uh, is there anybody in this land that the king have favor? I believe it is me. Look at the thinking of the enemies. They always think that good things belong to them. But they don't know that when you are serving a God, overtaking anointing is possible. That you can overtake them at any point in time. So he was thinking that the king need to honor him. It was him that the king was about to honor. So do you know what he said? He said that the child that the king has sat, sat upon it, they need to let that man sit upon it. The rope of the king need to be put on that man. And you need to go to the street of Andover, and people should blow trumpet and announce that the one that the king has had favor that is coming. And do you know what the king said? The king said, Hema, go and prepare what you have said to Mordecai. May your enemies bow before you. David said that my Lord will prepare me a table in the presence of my enemies. I have come to declare to you that your enemy will not die until they see the blessings of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, we are serving a God. Cry unto him at any point in time. I cry unto him in my sick bed and God favor me. Hallelujah. I cry unto him at any point in time that I'm going through affliction and he favor me. I cry unto him when my children in the house of God are suffering and he hear me. Hallelujah. So it is time for you to cry unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you cry unto him, he will use your enemy to bless you. Hallelujah. He said to King David in the book of Psalm 29, 89, the very verse 20, that I will never hand over the best of you unto the desire of your enemies. There is a promise concerning your life. God said that the potentials, the good things that he has invested in you, he will never allow the enemy to take over. All that you need to do is that in any circumstances, cry unto God. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, hear my cry this afternoon connected my thought to my destiny helpers and send me a deliverer to come and deliver me from my problem. Shout very big amen. Hallelujah. Are we in the house? We will continue this. Listen to me. Today, if you are here and you are going through disappointment, your relative promise you they fail you. Your family members promise you, they fail you. Your friends promise you, they fail you. Everything that you need, you are struggling. The sister, oh, ha. Na a dear pia who come up a boom. The pastor, why are you doing a more? Like I say, be a way, I'm a way, and yet, or show was a ne, Rabbia, a snobby do also on farm. It is a empire. If you walk home, Nanya Rale Casa. Today, any problem that you're going through, close your eyes. Quietly. Quietly. List them before God. List them before God. And ask God to remember you. Pray quietly. If you are watching this online, it is the moment of silence prayer. There are a lot of things that you are going through. There are a lot of things. Disappointment in your life. People promise you and fail you. Things are not working for you. I want you to list them before God. And ask God to hear your crying. And send your thought to a deliverer. To come and deliver you. To come and release you. To come and res rescue you. Pray. 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 Ask God to remember all your offering. From day one you become a born again Christian. 
the offering that you have given to the kingdom of God, the tithes that you are tithing every day to promote the house of God and ask God to answer this, your prayer from his holy sanctuary. Pray. Pray and talk to God. The services that you are offering in the house of God, you are teaching the Bible class, you are cleaning the auditorium, you are doing everything, praying through my singing in the church. Hey, I want you to challenge God. Challenge God. Cry unto him. Ask God to hear your thoughts. Psalm 74 verse 12. Pray. I want you to meditate on the good things of God. List your problem. You need to come out of the problem right now. That's the reason why we are here. Yahweh has said, Christo, or better than in South. Now what do you free your home? Oh, oh God. You, oh God, are my king from ages. Pass. Bringing salvation onto the earth. God is an ancient king. He is the king that do signs and wonders in the life of Abraham. He do signs and wonders in the life of Noah. Signs and wonders in the life of Isaac. Signs and wonders in the life of Jacob. Signs and wonders in the life of David. The same God, the ancient God is here today. God has never stopped doing miracles. Miracles of God still happens. Not in our days that God is going to stop miracles. He's an ancient king. I want you to ask this king to have compassion on you. I want you to ask this king to have mercy on you. I want you to ask this king to show you favor from today. That your life will never be the same. Don't know what you're going through. But the king have power to transform your life. Pray. It's an ancient king. Pray. Pray, 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 pray. Makabasu. Shakala. Sekele Now be on your feet. Be on your feet. When you stand up, quickly put your right hand on your chest. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Open your book of remembrance. Open your book of remembrance. Remember my good deeds. Remember my good deeds. In your kingdom. In your kingdom. And show me favor. And show me favor. And honor me. And honor me. As you honor Modica. As you honor Modica. Today, as I'm living here. Today, as I'm living here. Let me be a candidate of testimony. Let me be a candidate of testimony. Change every situation. Change every situation. The hardship. The hardship. Turn it. Turn it. To become a testimony for become me. Become a testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. 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 Change the situation. This is how it is. I shall be. Let me be a dear. I put you as a tremble of the radi. My home is so far. My home is so far. Can I be a dear? Can I be a dear? Can I be a In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father Lord. Father Lord. I command. I command. The fire of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Spirit. In the personality. In the personality. Standing. Sunday. In between my breakthrough, in my breakthrough, may the fire of may God, the fire of God consume them, consume them right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, in the name of Jesus, in the personality, in the name of Jesus, rocking your breakthrough, rocking my breakthrough, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we be a white dream, fin fin, but we share a memoir. Anybody else who is here, who yes, Sudimo. What Jesus Christ to demo? What yes to demo? What yes to demo? Jesus, wipe them away. Jesus, did you have a fear? What would you have? You have a fear to me, Bia. Broken your body. Why is Yahweh? 
Jesus. Listen to me. Say, Lord, Lord, remember me. Remember me. To the noble people in this land. To the noble people in this land. High ranking people in this land. Loud ranking people in this that land. That they will help me. That they will help to me. To come out of my situation. To come out from my situation. Father, remember me today. Father, remember me today. Listen to me. Monica is supposed to die. Just say Monica, it will be. Yeah. They are fasting and prayer. And your mom I come to know mom pay. And God intervention. Now a ready a bear more. That he remember the king. A ready a kai or henino. Say father, father, put my name, put my name in the heart of noble people. In the heart of noble people. In my family. In my family. In my friendship. In my friendship. Let them come. Let them come and help me. And help me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Jesus, I teach you for. One of my young papa pay a radia more more kaimi. Sesia, oh yes, Sudima, oh yes, Sudima, in the name of Jesus, a radical one of my young boy, one of my young boy pay. Let just say for that some of poor me, a radical, a radical, a radical, a radical in the name of Jesus. Remember them, remember them, remember them. Those that have been good to me. In the name hey, of Jesus Christ. Now lift up your right hand. I'll send you so. Say, Father Lord. Father Lord. I want all the world. I want all the world. People that are around me. People that are around me. To see your glory. To see your glory. In my life. In my life. So my Lord. So my Lord. Bless me. Bless me. To shame them. To shame them. Bless me. Bless me. To shame them. To shame them. To shame them. In the name of Jesus. Say, Radia, you will be a self What now what person me share here? Shame <laughs> I ran this down, no way, ran this down. The fire yen in a city to Tomano. Father Sidaman, where yes, with him. Kaya Radin or Kaiwa. Sesia, where yes, with him. In the name of Tisa, remember me. My Lord, remember me. Remember my children. Remember my family. Remember my husband. Remember my wife. Remember my church. Remember the church of God. Remember the pastor. Remember the tickets in the name of Tisa. Remember the mission of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Bible said that the Lord caused the full steps of the lepers to sound like a mighty amen. For the Assyrian army to run away and leave their property, their gold, their food behind. Wicked man like a pharaoh will be an any three more in the olden days. Did you know? God caused him to bless Abraham. A radishan is a old shah Abraham. Say, Father Law. Father Law. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. May my footsteps, may my footsteps sound like a mighty army. Sound like a mighty army. Any mortal body, any mortal body sitting upon my blessing, sitting upon my blessing. Let it release it. Let it release it to me. In the name of in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. I don't know. Mami not me and we do this week. Mami not tell me to say such a day. Oh, people are watching me. Shas of a ready masseni pacon and yanin and I say, Next, running yamitia. Oh, be pia wa fami ni papa efra. Wa Yesu Kristo dima. Sam pempe sui. I ran this summa wa popo. Na wanti mi shira na mami. Wa Yesu Kristo dima. E na mutu mi nu ahu dima. E shepi a yametia. A atamfo na tsa swa. Wa uti mu Jesus Christ dima. Shi mi shira pia mami. Sam pempe sui. I ran this sunny wa popo na. No kuti mi. 
Don't come to me. And Shepia, I am a dear. I want to have many. I say, Well, yes, to Christ anymore. What is a Christ anymore? Oh, be Piara. What time is your soul? Send a year. I ran out to me. My son of the Sakatafona. What time is your son? Your son of the Sakatafona. 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 Jesus Christ. Genesis 21. Bible said that. Bible said. And the Lord visited Sarah. And he remembered the covenant. No, The promise. made with Sarah. Now you Sarah. Sarah. Any Abraham. Watch this. At that time, Sarah was ninety years. Some men not Sarah were dealing fear. But God remember and radicate His promise. Nebosha. Ephesians said that you are predestined in life. Ephesians four nine said, "Eradina am born for frosa from the foundation of the earth." And when I want bossa see, I want you to pray. That's all one point. Say, Father Lord. Father Lord. Remember your promise. Remember your promise concerning my life. Concerning my life. When I was a clot of blood. When I was a clot of blood. In my mother's womb. In my mother's womb. Anything. Anything that I have not achieved. That I have not achieved. From the day I was born. From the day I was born. Cause heaven. Cause heaven. To provide it for to me. To provide for me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Visit me right now. Visit me right now. Open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Every day, come in. I'm not me yemo da tuwa da me mami yemo. I'm not me pass as it so. And she be a just a part me so. Na enya ma ya. Some people say, "I ready be slam yo. I ready be slam yo. Kai wa pamno. Kai wa pamno. I'm not me me mami ne papa kwa pamno. I'm not me pass as it so. And she be a ya me dia. I'm not wo sa Abraham. And the Sarah no. Wo kai wa pamno. Na wo kasa fita sonye. Wo sabe ka wo shia. And it's every day. What a minia never ya. Come in shadow. Come in shadow. Come here right here. Come in beam. Come in beam. I ran it. 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 Come in beam. Lord, remember me. Remember me. Jesus Christ. The Lord kept his word. A ready it's in a sense and did for Sarah and a Oyema Sarah exactly what he had promised. A Jania Waka Esu. A Radiaka Shakala. Hello, come on. So we were trying to look whether we can find a place to enter the house. Because we want to go to the downstairs. And there was a small door that was open. We entered that door. And we saw that Naru was sitting there. And there was a panel. No, no, no. There was a judge. And they said, this is what they said. They said that that child does not belong to you. So they have accused you of it. And as soon as we step there, my wife defend you that that child belongs to you. And the judge changed the decision. The Lord said that I should tell you that everything that is not in your favor will be in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the panel that have been set against you, may the Lord turn their decision to be in your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set you free from every accusation. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord Almighty use you in this end time. May the Lord bless you so that you'll be blessed to his kingdom. 
in the name of the Father, of the Son, I pray. Amen. Sit down. My brother, come and let me pray for you. Keep on praying in your heart. Keep on praying in your heart. Singer, come and let me pray for you. Stop watching TV. Father, I'm in Germany now. Locate me. Yes. Let your blessings come. Come, 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 come. Yes. The blessings of God. The favor of God is coming upon you in an extraordinary way. Let there be upliftment. Let there be a promotion. Let there be increase. Give you the desire of your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name. Remember me. As you remember, as you remember Sarah, Sarah, to do exactly, to do exactly what you promised to her. What you promised to her. In a promise. In a promise. Concerning my life. Concerning my life. Remember me. Remember me. I am descendants of Abraham. I am a descendant of Abraham. Jacob. Jacob. And Isaac. And Isaac. In a promise. In a promise. That need to manifest. In that needs to manifest in my life. As I'm living here. As I'm living here. Let your favor. Let your favor. Your blessings. Your blessings. Go with me. Go with me. And let your glory. Let your glory manifest. Manifest. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And shout very big. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.